Watch you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you. This one's the new variant of Police Central e crime unit. Now these are pretty rife on the internet at the moment and a lot of people fell for this one apparently um, by reading a couple of articles over a thousand people have already paid for this type of ransom. Now don't fall for these types of things they are fake and normally what you would see here if you've got a webcam is some activity from your webcam. Now obviously this isn't loading up for some reason um, I don't know why but it's just giving us a yellow box but you would see a webcam image here if you had a webcam. Now it also publishes your IP address which you won't see and also the location where you're located and it uses pretty nasty words like child porn and stuff like that and also saying that you've uh, been distributing copyright content and so on pretty much like all the other ransomwares really um, but it is fake and um, a lot of people have fell for these so don't pay for them they are um, they're not real okay I'm going to show you how to get rid of these now as you can see everything else works here and if you was going to pay for it it would accept the code and that's how you would uh, fall for this type of scam now you can't boot into a uh, safe mode um, with networking or safe mode because this actually blocks you out it runs in safe mode now you can always boot into a Kaspersky rescue CD and use that and use Windows Unlocker to remove that you've seen me use that in in my other videos I'm going to show you how to boot into safe mode with command prompt and we're going to remove it from there so the instructions are on the screen right now if you don't know how to do that and I'll see you in safe mode with command prompt so I'm in tapping F8 on the keyboard to event enter uh, advanced boot options here and I'm going to come down to safe mode with command prompt here um, and then once we've booted this in we should be able to remove it okay so we're at safe mode with command prompt and what I'm going to do here is type explorer push enter and this will give us our desktop I'm going to pull this down for now so the next thing I want to do is go into my computer into the C drive and what I need to do here is go into the actual users and then we're going to go organize folder and search options and then view and then show hidden files folders and drives and then take out the tick for hide extensions click OK there I'm going to go into the account that's infected in this case it's Brytech and then you should see a folder here called app data and then we're going to go into the roaming folder and there's a couple of files here that I want to get rid of so I'm going to get rid of these two files here I'm going to right click here and delete these Okay, let's come out here and then go into local and then temp and as you can see if you look down the bottom down here you will see all the images for that ransom and there's the header there as you can see for that picture and what we're going to do is empty out the temp files and there's the actual webcam that's the image you would get if you had the uh, webcam on so I'm just going to empty all these out and then delete these skip that one okay so we can close this off I want to go into the registry editor now so I'm going to go reg edit start and then into the run box click on reg edit and uh, I want to go to H key current user and then down to software and then Microsoft down to Windows I'm going to just check here just to make sure there's nothing inside here I'm going to check the run here I can see something there just going to get rid of that that's probably from another virus okay so what I'm going to do here next is go back up go Windows NT and then current version come down to win logon and then we want to check the shell and as you can see msconfig.dat this is the actual virus and you can see it's pointing to the roaming folder 
and the app data as you can see that's the file we've deleted and every time we reboot the system it's going to keep loading this file up so we need to remove this and take it back to explorer.exe which is at the beginning here so we just delete this front part like so and just leave the explorer.exe click OK okay so I think everything else is okay there now what I'm going to do is reboot the system back to the normal desktop and there we are back at the desktop free from viruses so what you can do now is I would suggest you run Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro so we'll just give Malwarebytes a quick run just to make sure the system is fully free of infection I'm going to do a quick update here and then click perform quick scan okay that's the scan now finished with and it's got a log file here you can keep these if you wish I'm gonna go to the main menu here and it's all clean and what we're gonna do now is run a quick scan with Hitman Pro another free tool here very good tool just to make sure there's nothing on the system now I know there's nothing on this system now but you may have other infections okay we've got no uh, threats found there and that's pretty much it that's all cleaned up I'm going to close this off so I think that's about it for this video hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and if you've got if you've not done it yet and uh, you want to join my fan page on Facebook then by all means do that on my YouTube channel you'll see the link to my fan page there click on that or you can do it at brightechcomputers.co.uk you'll see a icon there for Facebook and you can join me there if you've got any requests or anything like that send me a message or any problems with your computer then head over to the forums and uh, post your questions on there and hopefully we can get them rectified for you okay thanks again guys thanks for your support bye for now